Make Volume 23 is where you'll find the Gyro Car Project by Michael Kreisen. In addition to a gyroscope, you'll need a few other parts which I'll tell you about as we get to them. The first thing you'll need is a spray paint can top or even a laundry soap top or something a little bit bigger. Now we're going to be using some very thin plywood and we're going to trace out the size of our cap. Using a saw, cut out that piece of wood and as you can tell it's not going to fit into our cap so it'll require a little bit of sanding and when that's done it should be nice and snug inside the cap. You're also going to need to scrounge up a little motor from like an old CD or DVD drive. Then I used a compass to determine the diameter of the motor. Then I transferred that diameter to our plywood once again. This time we're going to make two rings. That first size will be the cutout. That motor will fit through there and then the outer size will be just a little bit larger. Squeeze the motor through both of those rings and it should be a nice snug fit. Then we're going to cut out the same size hole in our first disc we're also going to drill some pilot holes around the edge and put in three small screws. After taking the gyroscope out of its frame, I set it on a vise and gently used a hammer. And sure enough, the inside axle popped right through the gyroscope. Be careful not to break the gyroscope. They're usually made out of cheap cast metal. Then off to the hardware store where I picked up a 5 seconds diameter brass rod. And I cut that down to size and inserted it in the gyroscope. Then to attach the motor to the gyroscope, it was a matter of drilling a very small hole in the brass rod and using some epoxy. And our gyroscope assembly is finished. But now I ran into a little problem. Uh, the paint can top that I originally chose and gutted was not deep enough for my assembly. So I had to find another spray can paint top and we're going to be using that one instead. Our next part is a sliding door tension roller. And this is what's going to actually make contact with our gyroscope. Now you have to remove this little bracket and then also build a small frame. Now in the PDF and in a link in the description of this video you'll find the template and using some very thin sheet metal we're going to cut that and shape it out and wrap it around our little tension roller. Now the tension roller frame and tension roller get attached to the bottom of our cap. The gyroscope assembly is now put inside the cap and tightened down with the screws. I hot glued a three AAA battery pack to the top and here we go. The gyro car should ride around the rim of a pot and as you can see I was having a little bit of trouble with this one. It's going to require some more fine tuning and balancing to make this work. But there's good news. The author Michael Kreisen has a small video showing how his gyro car rides around a bandsaw blade. Check it out. So there you have it. A challenging project. The gyro car. And we'll see you next time with another weekend project.